myself dr amit mahajan today's words hectic and stressful lifestyle is giving us a lot of headache today i am going to share with you something special about migraine and what is the ayurvedic viewpoint of migraine migraine is a kind of headache which really gets bad and gives a very miserable life to the person affected and the person affected can't perform his daily routine activities so migraine is a headache for the physicians as well as it is very difficult to treat but if we look at ayurvedic perspective a large number of patients with chronic migraine even with the chronicity of 20 to 25 years have been treated successfully with ayurveda because in ayurveda we try to eradicate the root cause of the disease such kind of headache which causes a lot of agony in the patient in ayurveda there are 11 types of headaches described under the chapter shilavu one of them is adab headache which has the closest resemblance to the migraine which is described in modern science adhab vedak that is adha sisi that is the pain in half side of the head and this is the most common feature which the patient with migraine presents with along with this feature the patients also have the complaints of nausea and sometimes the patient vomit the pain is like throbbing that is like the pain which is hit when the patient feels like he is hit by a hammer and pulsatile the patient also have the features of photophobia and phobia from sound and irritable behavior this pain usually comes in the form of episodes or attacks initially the attacks of pain are once or twice in a month but as gradually the intensity of pain as well as the frequency of episodes increase and pain occurs mostly once or twice in a day there are other types of headaches as well described in ayurveda such as suryavat in which the headache increases and decreases with the movement of sun and anantavat that is trigeminal neuralgia but here today i am mostly concentrating upon migraine and adha vedak and its possible causes as per ayurveda according to ayurveda there are three doshas in the body that is vat pit and kapha mostly all the headaches are caused by vat pit and kapha but in adha vedak there is predominantly is considered as fire element whenever this fire element is increased in the body it produces symptoms of hyperacidity and whenever a patient of migraine approaches to our clinic we usually take history and hyperacidity is usually found as a associated symptom these patients also start having acid reflux like symptoms like burning behind sternum and excessive acid eruptions and burping whenever the acid is too much it causes a strong build up in the head area as nervous system is a site of vat this strong build up of pit in the head causes the vat to get aggravated and also causes stretching and tension in the head nowadays most of the people are involved in taking too much of pitta vatak diets that is the diets which are aggravating the pitta that is tea coffee excessive smoking excessive alcohol intake pizzas burger fast foods excessive spices eating yogurts curds and stale foods tomatoes vinegar and taking too much of alcohol now is special in special in punjab so whenever we take history we ask the patients that whether he or she is taking these things in his diet so as soon as it is found patient is immediately told to withdraw these things from his daily routine and eating menu when these things are removed from the menu we find that about 20 to 25% of symptoms of migraine they subside so here we are saying that we are treating the root cause of the disease that is the diets which are contained which are aggravating the pit in the body and along with there are some subside symptoms like who is what present in the head but how does this what get aggravated it gets aggravated by listening music for long hours watching tv indulgence in too much of stressful activities eating too much what aggravating foods like cold and dry foods the foods without ghee drinking cold water taking too much of ice creams eating chips and wafers and excessive walking running and decreased sleeping hours they all lead to aggravation of vat in the head to control this aggravated vat we just have to massage our forehead with the help of badamogan or avand oil 
for about five to seven minutes, especially in the evening, and to put two to three drops of badamalogan in each nostril, especially before going to bed. This gentle massage with almond oil or badamalogan over the head and installation of drops in the nose will help in lubricating the nerve pathways and help in relaxation of nerves and produces soothing and calming effect in the head. Along with this, we should try very good meditation, pranayam, deep breathing exercise required, the emission of migraine or attacks of migraine, we should stay focused and rooted and drink plenty of lukewarm water during the course of the day. We should add ghee in our diet which also helps in increasing the appetite and decreasing vat in the head as well as pit in the stomach. It also helps in nourishing the brain and nerve pathways. So, from above, we come to the conclusion that taking care of the acid and relaxing and nourishing the brain is the line of treatment for migraine. So, this is very simple, not at all complicated, but the complication is with us. Because some patients who are coming to us are really chronic, suffering from migraine for many many years, taking all kinds of anti-inflammatory drugs and painkillers, even some kind of sedatives are there which are having their own side effects like gastritis, dependency, pain in the stomach, acid production. So the, all these kind of patients are coming to us. In these cases, we need very specific kind of medication and Ayurveda fulfills that completely. There are some divine herbs in Ayurveda which take care of the aggravated pit. And I have already told you that in migraine, the aggravated pit is moving in the upward direction that is towards the seat of Vat and we need to take this pit towards downside. This we can do with the help of classical Ayurvedic formulations and with some herbal medications which help the pitta to move downwards and to get evacuated or eliminated through stools. This process in Ayurveda is included under Panchkal which is called as Virechan. Along with Virechan, we use herbs which could nourish the nerves and calm down the brain. The herbs such as Bhami, Jatamamsi, Ashwagandha. Shankushpi, Jyotishmati, Giloy, they are included as Methyatravyas or Narvine Tonics which help in brain relaxation and producing calming effects. Along with, we use herbs like Shatavari, Amla, Muleti which can take care of Pitta. Also, Trifla, a well-known combination in homes which also helps in eliminating excess of pit from the alimentary tract. This is how migraine is tackled. Punch color treatment like Virechan as we all, I have already described earlier along with Shirodhara and Nasir also plays a very useful and important role in the treatment of migraine. So we have plenty of plans to rely upon but we have to apply our brain which to use when and in what kind of patient. Nowadays one important factor which we should keep in mind is today's hectic can be due to some family stress, relationship stress, or professional stress, educational stress, or emotional stress. So, we have to be happy in our mind. We must also consider the spiritual aspect of life in the treatment of migraine. We have to be very positive from the outset and we have to consider the importance of our body as it is a very divine body, God-gifted body to us. Generally, people are not paying too much attention to this and keep on popping up wrong ideas and wrong things in their mind. So in Ayurveda, we try to cover all the aspects of treatment that is holistic and spiritual uplifting of the life and trying to remove the root cause of the disease. So friends, I hope from this you have got some idea about this noxious kind of headache migraine which can hamper uh, life completely. In my Ayurveda experience for last 15 years, I have treated many patients with this kind of problem successfully and help them living a very quality and stress-free life. So I will advise you and recommend you strongly that if you or someone of your family or friends or your dear ones is suffering from this kind of headache, kindly guide them to follow Ayurveda and Ayurvedic lifestyle and consult a qualified Ayurvedic physician.